up nail friends in today's video i'm gonna be following easy nail pictorial tutorials that are on pinterest so what that means is i'm going to find nail pictorials that other people have done and put on pinterest and i'm going to follow them in real time showing you guys tips and tricks and how i achieve those designs this video is going to be a really long video with lots of detailed explanation in it so if you guys are interested in all this just keep watching or you can skip ahead with using this table of contents right here and just look at each individual design that i chose to do let's get started What I'm gonna be doing is actually doing nails on my practice hand. So this hand is from Red Iguana, and I'll make sure to link it in my description box with a discount code, which I will also link on the screen right now. So these are cool because you can kind of like put these in and pull them out, and you can file them and stuff, and they won't move around. So what I did was I took the little pieces they come with, and then I used the Gel X, Apris Gel X tips, and put them on top of that tip to extend them. And now they're basically like a finished file now. So that's where we're at. So I'm gonna pull up my Pinterest. Let's take a look at some ideas. So I have a few here that I've saved, like this and this. These ones are kind of hard. So today is gonna be easy. So these are not considered easy in my opinion, so I'm not gonna do that. But I've been saving some stuff, and let's look for something a little easier. Okay, I thought this was kind of cool, and it looked pretty easy. That's like the wine glasses. Ooh, I really thought this was cool too. That doesn't look super hard. I don't know, like this. Does that look like it's hard? Mm. We need easy easy, cause that's what this one is today. It's gonna be like things you can't screw up. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> easy peasy. So what I do to look up pictorials on Pinterest is I'll just go on my Pinterest feed and if you see a pictorial like this, for example, you can just slide down and there'll be more. So basically just look for something and then there'll always be more. So I kind of like this one. It looks pretty easy. So let's maybe go with that. So I'm gonna grab out some things I'm gonna need for this and then we'll get started for the first one. Okay, so the colors that I pulled out, they don't match perfectly with this design, but I felt like with this design, it doesn't really matter how much they match. I'm gonna be using Glitter Bells Bubble Bath, Raspberry Mojito, Rosé Wine, and Baby Clouds. So I just have this sheet from a form. So it's, a back, it's like what the forms go on. So I find that these work well. Or you could use like tiles you can get from a homeware store. I love those too. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of these. You don't really need a lot of gel. So I put those to the side. You're also going to need transfer foil. So I have some gold here. Really doesn't matter what type you use. You're not really gonna see like the stars on this. So it doesn't really matter. Grab whatever one you have. And if you don't have any, transfer foil you can get on Amazon. And then you're just going to need like a black liner gel. So that's what I have here, black liner gel. Um, and then I am grabbed loose glitter to do like the sugar. So I'm gonna do all the designs on the middle finger and then I will design the other nails and kind of show you guys a full set kind of idea. So to get started on this one, I'm going to use a tiny brush. So this brush I got from Get Buff Nails and I like it because the head of it is really tiny. This one is called the mini. So I'm gonna use this to draw the hearts. Like I said, this should be pretty easy. And this doesn't have to be exactly the same. You can kind of like make it look however you want. You're basically just gonna wanna draw a bunch of hearts. It's really easy. It won't matter if you do them too thick or too thin. And you're not gonna cure this yet or anything. You're just drawing your black hearts at this point. So I'm just putting a little bit of product on the brush, kind of fully saturating the tip. Any little bits that you didn't add enough black to, just go over it again, like so. So you wanna make sure not to accidentally rub this or bump this because then you'll just literally ruin everything you just did. So I'm just trying to be careful not to accidentally hit anything. And then like I said, you can always add to yours if there's any lines that are too thin or anything. And like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be covered with transfer foil and glitter and stuff. So this is just the outline kind of idea. So that's what I got so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cure this for like 20 seconds tops because I want to be able to push my foil into this before it's dry, like fully dry. So let's do like 20 seconds. Okay, 
So if my foil doesn't stick into this, you can always go over top of this with foil glue or foil gel, but the hopes are that your black will have your transfer foil stick to it. Let's see. <laughs> so you wanna push your foil into and then kind of like rip it up. So it is working. Not as well as I would have liked, but like good enough. <laughs> you can kind of see that the black now has a little bit of gold on it, which in the, in the photo here, it doesn't look like a crazy amount of gold. So, so far so good. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. Step two. So step three is to take one of the colors that you wanna do and put it on the nail. So I'm gonna use that teeny tiny brush still. I am gonna clean off the black with a lint free white. And then let's go in with bubble bath. I love this one so much, my favorite one. So what they did is they just started to fill in the hearts and then around the hearts. So I'm gonna make this heart, I'm gonna make this heart bubble bath. So you're just gonna fill it in and just like try not to overlap your black. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill in the heart and you're not gonna cure this yet. Just leave it for a sec. So now this is when you're going to apply your glitter. So you're gonna do it in small sections. Put a little bit of glitter in there and then you're going to cure that. Okay, that's super easy, hey? So now that these are cured with that in them, now, between each one, you're gonna just wipe off the extra glitter, and then you just keep filling it in and keep doing that. So you're not gonna like do each one and cure it, or else it'll turn into just like one big mess. So do it step by step like they did in the photo. So once I got that done, now we can just complete the rest of it. Do that on speed through. So you guys see how that looks so far? And then all you have to do at this point is fill in the rest of it. So it's super easy. I have to grab another color actually. So I grabbed this other purple called Diamond Amethyst. I just thought the picture has purple in it and I haven't put purple in it. So I'm gonna add purple in it. And then we're almost done. Super easy, this one was easy. After you're done this design, you're gonna wanna cleanse it really well because of all the glitter that's around. And then you'll kinda see your design kinda come to life after you've wiped off all the extra glitter. Now you can sort of see all the lines for the hearts and stuff. So if I was doing this again, or if I was suggesting for you guys to change something up, I would use a thinner glitter. If this glitter that I picked is a nice fine glitter, it really is fine glitter, but uh, it's just a little thicker than you would probably want. Kind of covers up a little bit of the dimension in the design. So that's my tip. If you're gonna do this design, use an even thinner, like the thinnest, finest glitter you can find. Okay, and then I just finished off the rest of the nails. So here's how they look. Yeah, I really like this design. Super easy to do. Definitely not hard. So if you guys are wanting to learn something, there you go. There's one that was Easy to do. <laughs> um, and I did not top coat that nail and I wouldn't, and I wouldn't suggest top coating that nail because then you kind of get rid of like the sugary designs. You don't want to do that. So I just finished off the rest of the nails with the same colors used in that set. And then I finished off with a matte top coat. So all the nails are matte, but that one is like a glittery matte heart design. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so let's take a look at some more ideas. I really like the idea of the seashell. It's almost too easy, you know? Kinda wanna try this. It looks relatively easy if you look at each step. So I'm gonna try that. Um, so I just need like a white gel, some green, stuff like that. So I'm gonna grab this and then we'll start this. So we're gonna need white and black, definitely. So I've got glitter bells, white gloss and black gloss. 
And then I have some greens to do. So I'm just gonna use Glitter Bells Malibu, which is kind of like a Tiffany color. And then I also have Glitter Bells Love Me, which is a bright green. I know this seems like too bright, but I'm gonna like kind of dull us down. And then I also have the Glitter Balls Army Girl. So just three different types of greens and I'm gonna kind of like make my own. Okay, so the nail is done in black. So let's pull this up. So in the first square here, it looks like they just did a super easy kind of like three flower design, three petals. So let's copy this exactly. So you can kind of see that they didn't try to make it look like perfect or anything. They just like drew the flower leaves on because I guess you know that you're going to be covering most of this. So really it's just draw some petals, super easy. Going in with some white petals, using the same brush I was using earlier, just the Get Buff mini brush. I like this brush. This one's too small, so I'm going to make this one bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna cure that. So then in the next one, it looks like they add just more petals in white. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna overlapping these. Again, doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna add some details. I am making these ones slightly thicker. That way you can kind of like see the definition of the differences between them, but I, I'm not sure if that really matters. All right, cool. Okay, so the first um, bit of detail we're gonna do is on the petals that we did first. So I mixed some of these to try to create kind of the same color. So I did this, 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 and white. So it did make the color I wanted. And what you're gonna do is I guess just like keep it darker. You're gonna darken it in this area. Then you're gonna kind of spread the color out. So that's what we're gonna do. A little bit darker in that area and then spread the color out. This doesn't look too hard. At first I thought it looked like it was gonna be a lot of work, but now that I'm actually doing it, I feel like it's not that bad. <laughs> So I'm just gonna do some dots here, just so I can wipe off my brush and then just kind of wipe that out. So I'm just gonna blend these out more. I feel like I added too much color. So you can see that definition. Okay, so far so good. And now I zoomed in here and it looks like the other petals just have a line in the center. So it's this one, for example, has a little, like has a bit of light color on it and then just some swipes through the center with the dark one. So that's what I'm gonna do. Take the lighter color I made and just go over the whole nail with it. Oops, too much. So see, I'm gonna just wipe the nail with that because I put too much on and then I'm gonna spread it out. And then I'm gonna take the darker green and, you know, follow the tutorial of putting the darker right in the middle of those three petals from the center of the flower. Okay, so far so good. Cleaning off my brush again. They added just some black in this area. So I'm gonna detail the lines of these ones with the black. So you really don't need a lot, you really want barely anything on the tip of your brush if you guys see how little I have on my brush and I'm just going to define some of the flat like the flowers at the very center I guess Okay, so in this picture, 
it looks like it has some like 3D kind of raised center things. So I have um, Egoista's gel paste, Egoista brand, color Bride. So it's like a really thick gel paste. So I'm gonna use that. I feel like that might give me the look I'm going for. That it's like pasty. So I'm gonna take it from the center and I'm just gonna try to copy the photo. Dot and then I'm gonna kind of pull up. I'm just gonna give it a try. If it doesn't turn out good, then it doesn't turn out good. Yeah, I kind of feel like what I needed to do is like take a bigger amount and stick it down. Give that thickness and then kind of like lift up my brush. Yeah, and I'm gonna cure that. Okay, so in the next slide, it appears as though they put little black dots on the top of those. So that's what I'm gonna do. The last part of this, it looks like they take that thicker gel and stick it around and do some designs. So that's what we're gonna do, you know, we're just gonna copy this. Okay, so I did cleanse the nail, and here is how they look. My little flower nail. I really like it. This one was really easy, so it looks really difficult, but it's actually quite easy. So I like that they added the um, eight different tutorial kind of like pictures. Instead of just doing four, six, they added eight. So you really see the little details they were putting into that. So I really appreciate the people who are doing that because it really helps us who wouldn't, who'd see this end picture and be like, I don't know where to start. So I really liked that one and that was super easy. So let's do the next one. So let's look up an idea for the next one. So we've done hearts, sugaring, and flower. I like hand painted flowers. So let's see, is there anything else easy that you guys might want me to try? Okay, that is so cute. If this was the winter, I would do that. So remind me guys, if you want me to do a version of this in like holidays, like I follow Halloween pictorials, I will, because um, this is so cute. So I'm gonna save this for next winter. <laughs> okay, so let's find something here that we can actually use here. This looks cool, a butterfly. Let's do the butterfly. I thought it was gonna be super hard, but now looking at it really close, it actually looks quite like step by step. It doesn't look too hard. So let's do a, let's do a butterfly. Red or purple though? Should I do red butterfly like they did? Okay, we're gonna stick to the colors that are in this. So I'm gonna go with these three reds. We've got Poppy Field, Crazy Cat Lady, and Red Apple. I'm gonna start following the instructions let's start with this so my red is poppy field it's very similar actually so it's good i'm just gonna use the same brush that i've been using because i really like this so i'm just doing the outline first of where i think it's gonna be and then you can add more to it if you need to and this doesn't need to be perfect or anything because we're gonna do the detail in a bit. filling these in now. So if you make any mistakes or anything, you can just go over it again or anything. So like I said, it doesn't need to be super perfect at this point. We're just trying to get a general idea. Good, I like that. So it looks like in picture number two, we're gonna be doing a lot of black. This looks like nice thick black. So instead of using polish, which thins out, I'm gonna use paint. So I'm probably gonna just use the buttercreams from Light Elegance. You can always thicken up your black after you put it down. So I like to do like thinner black lines and then add to them and build them up instead of trying to do them all at once. 
because sometimes your color won't be thick enough in certain spots. So the good thing too about gel and painting is that your gel wants to go where the gel is. So you can see when I did that line there, it stayed exactly where I wanted it because of the gel that's already down. So maybe, yeah, maybe I'll outline first. I'm gonna outline everything first, cure it, and then go over my lines. So I'm gonna cure this black outline and then I'm gonna add to it. So I just kind of flash cured that. Then I'm gonna go in and add more. So I'm just gonna thicken up the line, darken the line. And in this case, add that little pointy bit. So when you're doing lines like this, what I do is I hold my breath and then I do the thick part and then I kind of like ease up and just use the very tip of my brush to pull it along. So you don't want all your lines to be as thick all the way around, you want them to thin out a bit. So now I have to do the body and the antenna. That's the part I'm like the worried about. But for this, what, you, what I think I'm gonna do is the bead and then just pull towards this. So I'm gonna do this first, then, then these parts. Draw it like for its little head. And then I'm gonna leave a space because I'm gonna connect its head with its body in a sec. So then I'm gonna take my brush, I'm just gonna pull the neck into the head so you can see that definition. And then I'm gonna take the tip, I just gotta pull the color out. It kinda like thickens where the little pieces at the end there. I like how that's turned out, so I'm gonna cure that. Like I said, make sure you're curing your gels often like it's always safe and secure and in spot because if you don't and then you smear it you're ruined everything so i like to flash cure okay got that in so now we're gonna do the antenna which is what i was worried about the most so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean off my art brush so that there's no product in it then pick up what i need so like i said i'm gonna kind of do like a dot and then i'm gonna pull while lifting my brush up to get that thin antenna line. So dot and then I'm pulling my brush up. Okay, that's all right. I'm just gonna do it again. Eh. Hands get a little shaky when doing those fine details like that. Okay, I like that. Curing that. And then we're on to the next step. Let's zoom in here. Okay, so it looks like they just drew the lines so far. So they're nice and um, kind of muted and blurry. They're not perfect or anything. So that's kind of like the point of this design. So the outline and the antenna and stuff like that's like a nice thick dark black. These ones are supposed to be like thin and much less in place. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm zooming in to my picture and I'm just gonna take whatever was left on my brush and work on with that. So I'm not curing this or anything, I'm just kind of like drawing this on and leaving it because I'm just doing such thin work here that it doesn't need to be cured. I mean, unless you want to, you know? Next one, they use some darker colors to darken this area up, then they go around here. It almost looks like they put some lighter stuff in the middle. I'm just gonna play around with shading and stuff with the ones I have on here to kind of make it like match a bit. I'm gonna take the darker one and go in with the darker one. Remember, you're almost using this as like shading. So you don't wanna like cover up your black or put too much on or anything. You're just shading with it. And that'll just add a lot of definition to your design. Got some, so I'm just taking a dry brush and wiping that off. And then we're gonna go in with another color 
and like I said, just really define the look of this. Plus this one's kind of shimmery and it looks pretty, so. Oh my god, adding all that, just adding those little details of just the color, blending them in, oh my god, it makes such a difference. I'm curing that now. Okay, all that needs to be done now is add the silver. So, you can see in the photo, there's a bunch of dots for the silver, but there's three bigger pieces there. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, for this design, I am gonna use a matte top coat because it kind of appears like they did in this. So this could be like a matte butterfly design, the red and the white. So I'm gonna use my Empower, Luminary Empower matte. So this matte top coat will dry tack free, which is really nice. Oh my God, I love the butterfly. That one turned out so good. Okay, and that is how the butterflies look. I have to say the butterfly one, hands down favorite. I, oh my God, I love it so much. It turned out so cute. I really like that one. I really like actually all the ones I did. Uh, the flower wasn't something I've ever really done before. Um, the hearts and stuff, I've done that kind of stuff before. The flower and the butterfly are kind of like newer designs I haven't really like played around with much on my own. So finding these Pinterest designs and them being actually super easy was great. So I hope you guys like this video. Also, if you guys are needing fake hands, this hand is my favorite. I've tried a few hands. I've also tried Red Iguana's old hand, and this one is number one, my favorite. And the reason why is because the way the hand is is so that you can actually pull the stuff in and out, which makes it easier for hand filing and filing. So you can see that there's a big piece that goes way deep inside there. So you can just take it in and out. So you don't have to soak the hand or anything. So I have a discount code for you guys if you need it. And just so you know, I do make commission on that discount code. So I'll leave the discount right here at the bottom. These are the red iguana hands. And I will also leave a link and the discount in my description box so that you guys can still practice nails too. So if you guys did like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Click the bell next to it to be notified when I post. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.